Hey guys, welcome back to Fake Art Friday. So today, I have to do a re-recording of my previous audio recording. Um, my mic wasn't loud enough, so I gotta do this again. So today, we are looking at some more hero support. Yay, you know how heroes are getting that structure deck. So, you know, might as well give them some more support. And what better support to give them than a Skyscraper 3? Because, you know, they have 1 and 2. And this one is definitely the most broken out of all of them. So let's go ahead and get to it. So, it reads... Oh, none. Fusion Hero Monsters game. 500 attack and defense. Yay. So now I gotta deal with a 24 beater alias and a freaking, what, 2000 attack wild heart. Yeah, that, that's, I, that, I mean, the difference between this and Skyscraper 1 is at least with Skyscraper 1, they gotta commit their attack to you. You know, if you attack them, they don't gain that 1000 boost. This, this is always just 500. This is always just 500. Doesn't matter if you, um, are attacking of the alias or receiving the attack from alias. He will always just be a 24 meter. Yeah, just a 24 meter. That's that's pretty strong for a monster you could just normal summon. Pretty strong. You know, Gemini Spark. It's a normal monster, so go ahead and skill drain it up. 24 meter. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh my god, it's too strong. It's too strong for a hero monster. <laughs> but that's not all. You can fusion summon hero monsters without poly polymerization or dark fusion. An evil hero fusion monster summoned this way is treated as a fusion summon by dark fusion. So, heroes, just fuck poly. You don't need it anymore. Just search this for terraforming, play it, and fuse all that you want from your hand. Fuck poly. You know, poly is a nag. You don't need it. Fuse from your hand. You don't. You don't need it. All right. You don't need it. Oh, what? What? Destiny hero players? What? What about? What about you? Fuck you. <laughs> uh, well, no, no, no. It says fusion summons a hero monsters. Period. So I guess it would count for you too. So that's fine. That's fine. I thought you. I thought they were gonna exclude you. So that goes for Destiny heroes too. Wow. All right. Sure. So that's just hero monsters. Period. So that includes evil heroes and Destiny heroes. So Diamond Dude will be like what a 19 beater. Cool. Cool. 19 beater Diamond Dude. And uh, what else? What else? Uh, Plasma will be what 24. If you ever summon plasma, so that's that's stronger. At least at least it's all heroes. Uh, you thought it would be for just elemental heroes, but no, it's a, it's for everybody. So that's good. So it doesn't exclude anybody. That's nice. But seriously, that's just that's just blatantly broke. That's just blatantly broke. You know, hero fu heroes. Period. Would love to just fuse without having to use poly because it's a neck. You know, you gotta get in your hand. It's kind of situational. That's you can just search this with terraforming. You know. This is even better. You can just use as many times as you want. Many times as you want. So you Destiny and Dragoon players, you know, rejoice. Cause you can just go play this. Fuse from my hand, fuck Polly. Fuse from my hand, fuck Polly. Fuse from my hand, fuck Polly. And you can just keep doing it and doing it and doing it. But guys, don't worry, don't worry. It's it hold on. It it's balanced, it's balanced. He balanced it out right here. You can only use the effect of skyscraper three metropolis up to three times per turn. Oh! There it is. Three. Three? Only three? Only three? Really? Only three. Why only three? Why not make it fucking just as many times as you want? Why only three? Only three? What a restriction. Oh my god, I am fucking tied down. I can't do shit because I can only fusion summon from my hand without Polly only three fucking times. Oh my god. Per turn, only three times per turn. The struggle. No, seriously, that's it's not even. That's not even. It's not even anything. <laughs> like really? So I can go fusion something from my hand, fusion something from my hand, fusion something from my hand. Miracle fusion, if I only have one or multiple miracle fusions. And OTK game, slap the shit out of you, GG. Yep. No, 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 no. That's stupid. But this card's not done, guys. Let's continue. If this card is sent. From the field to the graveyard, right? while you control no monster, special summon from the extra deck, you can special summon one hero fusion monster from your graveyard, ignoring its summoning conditions. And you can only use the effect of Skyscraper 3 Metropolis once per turn. You can only use this effect. Yay! So, you got nothing on the field that summoned from your extra deck? You can just, you know, uh, go ahead and set a different field spell, and then go ahead and summon one from your graveyard, ignoring its summoning conditions. Ignoring them. So you want to bring back some mass heroes? Go right ahead. You want to bring Destiny and Dragoon? Go right ahead. You want to bring back some of your evil heroes? Go right a fucking head. Just go ahead and summon it. You know, go ahead and 
fucking summon it because no one cares. Ignoring a summon condition. You can even do some kind of cute play. I believe there's actually like monsters that can send uh, monsters from your extra deck to the graveyard. And then you can just bring them right back because you're ignoring the summoning condition. So you don't give a fuck. You can bring back freaking uh, Shining Flare Wingman if you wanted to. Freaking uh, just anything. Because you ignore it, summoning conditions. Because this card just doesn't give a shit. Yeah, this card is stupid broke. Like, heroes. No. No. This card's just stupid broke. <laughs> like, oh my god, if heroes ever got this card, that would just be ridiculous. So tell me what you guys think of it. Like I said, heroes do not need this. This is broke. This is really broke. <laughs> so. And, and when I mean broke, I do mean broke. By the definition of broke. If Heroes actually got this card, it, I think it would definitely change. Uh, it would affect the meta. It would affect the meta. Heroes players would play, we rejoice in getting this card, playing it, for confusing, summoning, you know, slapping the shit out of your opponent, OTK, definitely, definitely. I think I think uh, this could make a hero as a meta deck if this card existed. I don't know, tell me what you guys think. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode A fuck. Oh my god, I can't talk. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys next Friday with another card to look at. Thanks for watching.